Sister Oka, yeah, uh, how she was lived before, yeah, and no one in this world, or even the doctor, cannot change her life, yeah. her heart, her mind. Yeah. 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 And then Brother Mario as well. She was, uh, he was a smoker, a uh, gambling. Maybe you said, "Oh, this is my mommy." Okay, this is my mommy. But that's ruined your life. You've been working hard, but you don't have money for future. Oh, this is my money. I want to smoke. I want to uh, 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 a cigarette. I want to do that. Uh, get, uh, alcohol. This is my money. Okay, that's your money. But the Bible reminds us, reminds everyone, reminds the world. That's all things that's broken your family, broken your kids. Broken your life as well. Yeah. Lungs will be whole in here. 
you believe are not plenty people. There's a hole in the lungs when you smoke every day. Yeah. That's up to you and up to me. You the one that make decision, brothers and sisters. I'm only just a reminder. As a church, we have to remind the good things. The good things. That's why we are here. That's why we went to the church. Amen. Amen. To remind the good things, the world, and the, the good things. The good things. Yeah. Um, when I came here in Bali a long time ago, 15 years ago, I was talking to the one Indonesian lady to remind, don't do this one because that is a ruin your life, ruin your family as well. But she said, I don't care. And she said, this is my money. Okay, up to you. But for me, for my job, to remind. That's why God's calling me. I was evil too, like Brother Mario. I was a, a drunk as well. Yeah, but no gambling, because no money. How do I gamble? Because I don't mind, have, have, I don't have too much money. Yeah. So how evil, everyone. How evil my life as well. But one day, God spoke to me through my faith. Like, like your spirit in, in here can listen. Someone like talking to you. Yeah. Because we are not a robot. We are totally different with the robot. Robot don't have a mind, don't have a um, like a five cents or like a sense, like a spirit in here. We are totally different with the robot. One day God spoke to me. I believe 100% that God spoke to me. He's, he, he said, Barry, do you want to live like this until you die? That's clear. God spoke to me because every weekend I'm always drunk with all my colors and do adultery as well. You can imagine. I went to church, but still do the bad things because I am the one that make a decision want to change it or not. I am the one. You the one. When you listen or hear the good things from God, if you still cross, you block your heart, you block your mind. I believe something, you know, in, in your heart speak to you. But you the one that make this is a to cross, to death, to block your ear, block to your eyes. And you love to still live in the old life. You the one and I am the one making decision. And last time I, 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 I always realized that's just the wrong. Yeah, I don't have money, but still doing the bad things. And today is the God Jesus Christ. God revealed Himself as a human. God can do it. That's why we call him God. He can do whatever he wants. He can do everything that he can do. It. God revealed himself to the Maria woman. Become a human like you and me. That's why he can feel your problem. He can feel my problem. That's our Jesus Christ. Feel when you incise anxiety. He can feel you worry, anxiety. He can feel. That's why Jesus asked you to come to Him, to worship to Him. When you like addicted, addict, addict, everything, addicted to gambling or whatever, if you, I believe, something in here does say this is wrong, but you fresh dominate the voice, the small voice. Ah. Keep going, keep do, 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 do these, these things. I believe something talk to you. And this is the time Jesus died. Without Jesus died on the cross. We are still live in the old life. We can do whatever we want. We have money.
money, we have opposition, we have opportunity, we do everything bad. That's the one that without Jesus. But when Jesus died, Jesus already beat this world. And now you and me, that the one, the one make a decision. Want to hear his voice, want to obey him or not, we are. But the main general, Jesus died for all our bad things, including sins. That's why we can live forever with him. Brothers and sisters, whatever you do, you do action. Whatever you do, cannot reach to Jesus' place. Some people call it those. Some people call us heaven. We die, Jesus. Oh, I'm, I'm, as long as I'm doing the good things, I don't smoke. I don't have a cigarette, I don't gamble, I'm always do the right things. The one that can bring you to, to the heaven. And heaven is real. And some people ask, why your God is dying? That's why I'm asking you to give the testimony. What's the pain that Jesus died on the cross? I'm asking you. And you know real exactly why Jesus died. Yeah, some people out of the Christian or the unbeliever, they say, how come you, your God is dying? If God, how come? Why Jesus, Jesus died? Because God never died. That's why the Bible says, we read it. Yeah, we read yeah, the, the scripture. Why Jesus died? Matthew chapter 27, verse 50. Sister, maybe only 10, 15 minutes, they'll give you the sign. Matthew, Matthew. Because after this we do the, the Holy Communion. The Holy Communion just remind us, remembrance, that Jesus died on the cross. Without Jesus, I'm telling you, we are still living in the old life. Uh, Matthew chapter 27, verse 50. Anyone get? Please help. Stand up, please. Did you get it? Just read. Yeah, pay attention. And when Jesus had cried out again in loud voice, he gave up his spirit. Yeah, pay attention. He gave up his spirit. It's a totally different with the, the people that die. Totally, yeah? Different. He gave his spirit. He is the one that gave. Not because he died because of the death. Take his life. It's totally different. Yeah? If you and me, one day, the death will take your life. Or the other word is that we'll die. Yeah. Die because of disease. Yeah. Some people complain, how come I'm, I got the disease? How come I'm, I have cancer? How come I'll get the tumor? We have to correct ourselves. The, the lifestyle that we do, is it healthy or not? Yeah, when you get something, this is in your life, in your body, you complain to him. Why God doesn't want to heal me? Why God doesn't want to help me? You the one that God gives you free will to do or eat the healthy food or jam. You the one that make a decision. Free will. This is never ever complain when you eat the jam food. Jam food. You the one that make it. When you get sick, who complain to him? Yeah? You the one that. Yeah, that verse 50 said, He, Jesus, gave. You can read again. Yeah? The Bible doesn't say, The dead 
hack Jesus' life. Yeah, totally different. He was setting. Yeah, only God can setting his life. Only Jesus can setting his when he want to die on the cross. He is the one. That's why we call Jesus is God. Jesus gave his life. He Jesus gave us. like you and me. That's why I said earlier, he can feel wherever you have a problem. He can feel wherever I have a problem. That's why we cannot complain. Oh, God, you stay in heaven. Oh, God, this is you. Just say, just say the word, but never help. He knows your problem. He knows my problem. That's why God revealed himself, become a human being, so that I can feel like you feel. Jesus gave up his spirit. It means the other word is the spirit left his body, human boy, body. Yeah? Because as a human, as a human boy, uh, uh, um, he can um, die as well, as a natural uh, human being like us. That's why his spirit left his body with a purpose. And no one in this world can do it like Jesus done. Anyone can say to me, oh, tomorrow, tomorrow, um, what's the, uh, the date tomorrow? Nine. Is it? What's the date? Eight. 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 Tomorrow, eight o'clock, in the eight p.m., um, I will die. Anyone can say that? No. No? The death. The one that takes your life. But Jesus, the one that gave his life, his spirit out of the, his body. That's why, brothers and sisters, whatever you do, the good things without Jesus, you die forever. That's why this is the time. Keep your life to Jesus Christ. And we can read again. Hebrew chapter 9, verse 28, verse 8. 28A. Anyone can help me as well? Hebrew. This is the scripture that supports our faith. Your faith, my faith. Hebrew. Hebrew chapter uh, 9, verse 28. And on the, 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 oh, the A1. Anyone get? With loud, loud I will read. Yeah. So Christ was sacrificed once to take away the sins of many people. The Bible doesn't say take away the sins of all the people. Yeah, the Bible already said say some, or oh, many, sorry, sins of many people, not all of them. What's the difference? All of them or and the many people only many people only some people receiving him the rest one they reject him right. this is never for, for you this is choice but if you want to return this is the time while alive if you and me die no time to change you no time to repent, no time to regret. It's too late. If you want to make a decision, this is the time. This is the time. 
yeah, brothers and sisters. And uh, John 10, 15 is, I am giving my life for the sheep. You and me as a sheep, yeah? And Matthew 22, verse 21. This is compulsory. Jesus already has done. Jesus, Jesus has done. And this is the time for you. This is compulsory. Give your life to Jesus or give your life to the world. I'm only remind this season is yours. Up to you. Yeah. But if you want to, if you want to um, follow Jesus in this time, when you die, you cannot do it. It's too late. Because the world that we live is totally the difference. We believe in God. And I believe 100%. That is the new life for the believer. Ah, many propaganda, oh, the church propaganda, church only make money, church pastor only make money. Okay, up to you. But one day, you can see who is the right one. Jesus, or the Ateis. Ateis, yeah? Ateis. Is this good pronounce? Ateis. Ateis. If a taste cannot change in brother Mario life, if a taste cannot change in sister of life, yeah? she have a big, I saw with my own eyes, big. Maybe the photo, you can see the photo. Big. And so, or two more? Oh, boy, yeah. Oh, boy. Miom. Yeah, that's the, the lady's problem. Yeah. Different bit of man. Yeah, big and skinny and pale. Yeah, but now it's a totally different. A taste cannot change the people's life. Only Jesus. When you surrender to Jesus, he's the one that gives you life. We do Holy Communion, brothers and sisters. This is a reminder. Remember that Jesus died on the cross. So that's why we have to do uh, to remembrance that Jesus died on the cross. Matthew chapter 26, verse 26. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. And then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for the many. Yeah? Say again, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus doesn't say for all, but only for many. Whoever receiving Jesus, the one that receiving the salvation. Receiving and confess that Jesus died on the cross. Come up, please. Whoever wants to do the Holy Communion, just come up. If you doesn't want to, that's up to you. It's alright. This one is the best
I would, I would like to uh, remind you, uh, thank you, uh, say the word. Uh, Sister Rini, last time. Yeah, it's all right. I'll tell about the story. Yes. It's all right? Sure. Yeah. <coughs> Take a seat. Pay attention. Sister Rini have a problem. Big problem. Yeah. But when she surrendered to Jesus Christ, Jesus helped her and changing her as a new creation. Yeah. Last time in Sydney, uh, 2020, 20, yes, yes, Pastor. she yes. wants to do suicide. Yeah. yeah, this is a witness. Yeah, maybe you tell the story. Yeah. This is trending us, that's trending us. Yeah. Yeah. This is changing your life. Yeah, well, last time in the Sydney, when you want to do suicide, because of problem, when? Tell, tell the story. Tell uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, Firstly, I'm so grateful for being here today and alive. I'm healthy. I'm so blessed. I'm so happy. Yeah, that's the sign. If you believe in God, um, because Jesus said, "I come to give you life and have your life abundant, abundantly." So we are the son and the daughters of God. We will, and we are having abundant life. You should have the healthy, joyful, rich, success, whatever you ask. Our Father in heaven will give it to you. So, so about my testimony, a little bit of a testimony, thank you so much, Pastor Perry, for this chance. Uh, because of the power of testimony, uh, I hope can strengthen everyone. And so a little bit of my story. I have a problem, it's, um, marriage problem, actually. A, my marriage is falling. <laughs> uh, I have a problem with my my husband. is a little bit abusive. So I was trying to to help him to uh, whatever I can do to help him. But actually, it doesn't work. It didn't work. So 
I was so frustrated. I was I, I was falling to deep depression. I couldn't do anything. I've done like millions, millions uh, a person, a small person like me that I can do, but I couldn't do anything. <laughs> uh, but you know what? No one wants their marriage falling, falling, falling down. No one, especially you, woman, woman of God. Uh, we build our house. You know, we build our house. We uh, we do everything to save it. We do everything how to make it beautiful. But it didn't work. I, I'm still holding, but uh, I rely to God. Uh, it's depend on God. Whatever is gonna happen. So at that time, um, I was a. I was so hopeless, and then I one day I two times actually uh, I wanted to uh, commit suicide. And in Sydney 2020, on when the coronavirus lockdown for a whole year, almost whole year, we couldn't do anything in Sydney. You had to stay in the house. Um, it was so. It was the worst. I hope. <laughs> but you guys are so blessed. Uh, you guys live here in Darwin, you don't experience what we have experienced in Sydney. One year, almost whole year, we couldn't do anything. We can go work to, to earn some money, to buy some food, to pay rent, we couldn't. You know, it's, it was so bad, but uh, that was a uh, life of my life that uh, helped me. Uh, that gave me resources. I can buy my food, I can pay for my rent. So at that time, it was a uh, yes, yeah, so bad. It was so bad. Thanks a lot. And now it's all good. It's past now. So, yeah. Yeah. Jump from the bridge. Eh? Yeah, I wanted to jump from the bridge two times, my brother and sister. Yeah. Harbor Bridge. Uh, once in Harbor Bridge and once uh, in. <laughs> That's to North Sydney. If you know North Sydney uh, Highway. Highway, yeah, one of the highway in North Sydney. I wanted to jump over, but I was uh, standing there um, and cry out loud and said, "Lord Jesus, Lord, I know you see me from above, but uh, please help me." You know, like we we think like for us, we need to do something. Like I want to see someone help me. You know, I want to see God come and help me and take and do something for me. That. Uh, because physical, you know, I need a help, you know. I need, I need something miracle. I need, I need something. You know, I need help, you know. But <laughs> at the time when I was crying uh, very loud, uh, calling the Lord, Lord help me, you know. And yes, uh, I didn't do it. <laughs> that saved my life, and this is my second chance. And I want to give my second chance life to God because He saved me for a purpose. Thank you, thank you. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. At least cannot change in his life, uh, her life. Yeah, only Jesus. Yeah. Sometimes in the heart, in the heart, your heart, they will always say like this. They will always say the bad things. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. I was reading the newspaper last time in the anti news. Yeah, young boys do suicide because the, 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 the heart says, just do it. That's the devil. The devil wants to kill you. That's why the devil says in your heart, just do it. Come on. Your friends will be done. But Jesus said, don't do it. Yeah? Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. He just died on the cross already. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus already died for us. Before we close our service, please stand up. We will sing this song. I hope everyone knows this song. This is the song. Thank you, God, who cross love. Thank you for the Christ for you. Thank you for the 
Thank you, God. See, sing in my sing flow. Now all I know, you forget in ever. What is the Crown you now with many crown, you raise Victoria. High and lift the arms, Jesus, Son of God, the darling of heaven, who What is the lamb? See the all my throne. Crown you now with many crowns. You raise it all Let us pray. When when you see your problem too heavy and looks like you cannot handle your problem, just looking at Jesus. Grab your Bible, worship Him. He's the one that gives you rest. Believe. Amen. Jesus, the only one, give you rest. And lift your hands up and receiving the blessing of God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Thank you for your body as well. Yes, hallelujah. The love of God, the love of Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins and for our sickness and the fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Be with you, bless you from right now on until the end of this life. And everyone receiving the blessing say, Amen. Happy Good Friday. God bless. Hallelujah. And blessing the food as well. God, please, blessing the food that people the provide in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Enjoy your meals. Yeah.